welcome to digit.in and today we're going to be unboxing the new Samsung Galaxy watch. Now this isn't anything spectacularly different from what you've seen in the previous years. Um, Samsung used to call their smartwatches the Galaxy Gear S series. Now they've gone ahead and consolidated that branding and just made it the Galaxy watch. So let's quickly go ahead and see what's inside the box. Uh, but before we do that, just a quick heads up. This is the 46 millimeter version with just Bluetooth. This is not the LTE version of the Galaxy Watch. So let's see what do you get when you buy this thing. So if this is the dial, the watch itself. Uh, we're gonna set this up in a bit. So I'm gonna just put it aside for now. Um, what else is in the box? Nice, nice packaging that Samsung has used. There is a, a pouch with, I'm assuming, yeah, this is, so this is the micro USB wall charger, which doesn't plug into the watch, but actually goes into this little cradle, which charges the watch uh, wirelessly. So the watch would basically clasp onto this magnetically and then the charging begins. Now, interestingly, this is the same charger we see in the Gear S3, what we've seen in the Gear S2, and you know, uh, it, it's a fairly consistent uh, performer as far as Samsung smartwatch is concerned. So really, not really that much room to change, uh, especially you know when it isn't broke. Why fix it? Uh, Samsung also gives you additionally one extra strap in the box. This is a smaller strap. Uh, the large one is already attached to the watch. So in case you have uh, you know, uh, thin wrists, unlike me, uh, if you have thin wrists, you can just swap out the tall, large band and put this one on instead. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put all of this aside and I'm gonna set up the Galaxy Watch for you uh, in this video. And we're gonna talk about everything that is uh, that this watch can do. now. Starting with the basics, there's of course a new processor and a new chipset. There is the, uh, it's a 1.1 gigahertz processor with 4 GB of RAM. Uh, this has got storage, 16 GB of storage on board and it's also using Corning's new DX Plus Gorilla Glass to protect it. But the highlight personally would be the 472 milliamp hour battery, which Samsung says should be able to give it about three days of battery life, which is very impressive by any smartwatch standards. So imagine having a smartwatch that can do all of the tracking for you and do all of the work, everything, and you don't have to worry about charging it every night. Uh, what that also means, since you're not worried about charging this watch every night, what you can do is use this for tracking your sleep. It has a built-in sleep tracker, which shares that data directly with the Samsung Health app. And uh, you know what you also find in there is other things like you know if you go running, if you do cycling, if you go swimming. Speaking of swimming, the Samsung Galaxy Watch is rated up to five uh, atmospheres worth of water resistance. So I've just brought in my Samsung Note 8 over here and uh, I'm gonna try and get the watch paired up quickly. In the meantime, while it's doing its thing, so like I said, you know you get five atmosphere of water resistance, which is about 40 feet. Uh, so yeah, you can go uh, swimming with this, you can, you know, maybe go off to the beach and go for a nice swim in the ocean, but it's not for scuba diving by any means. Um, so that's that. Samsung has uh, put in this smartwatch, uh, smartwatch sorry, the Tizen OS 4. This is the newest version of the OS from Samsung. And because of that, this now has automatic activity detection for six additional activities than before. You of course got running, now you have brisk walking, you have yoga, you have cycling, you have swimming, etc. Additionally, you also get fitness tracking for up to 39 activities, which uh, a lot of that focus is actually in activities that take place inside the gym. So weightlifting, squats, lunges, things like that. And the Galaxy Watch will be able to track all of it and it will share that data with the Samsung Galaxy Health app. So just going to uh, quickly get this going over here. Okay. And sorry about that, it's taking a little while, but you know, we're just going to come back to you once the phone is ready to pair with the watch. And finally, both the phone and the watch are now ready to pair. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click OK. Um, on the watch and the phone's gonna do its thing 
and they will get set up bad any updates if they may be will get installed any apps that they may be will get installed and right now the pairing is underway so um, honestly it's a fairly seamless process but I've had a bunch of other things paired with the Galaxy uh, Note 9 and uh, you know so a little bit of problem plus sometimes what happens is there it may be an update for the watch uh, when you know it becomes available so uh, that has to be downloaded and put to the watch before you can do anything else with it so yeah and that probably was the case it could also be just the Galaxy Gear app needed an update so because of that this process has been slow so yeah now it's gonna finish pairing and you know once the watch and the phone are paired you will be able to get uh, your notifications and any other information that's on your phone onto your Galaxy watch and do I want to restore no I do not now let's come back to the watch while it's getting set up um, it tells you turn the way to go back turn which way to go right uh, where are your notifications this is the back key over here and this shows you all the apps so it's a fairly nice tutorial uh, when you know your watch gets set up in fact if for whatever reason you end up resetting the watch a number of times every time you set it up you will get this tutorial and it's very very nice I mean it takes into account the fact that if you're a new user you would want to get familiar with this also um, it takes into account that in case there are UI based changes uh, even though you may be a seasoned Galaxy user, you will be able to, uh, you know, uh, understand what is new. You'll be able to learn what are the new gestures in case there are any. So just quickly go ahead and, uh, yeah. So if you do this, the screen turns off. That's it. And the watch is ready. Now, the, like I said, the navigation of the UI is based on just spinning this crown and everything is there whatever apps i may have installed uh, whatever is compatible with is in shows up and i can choose the watch face from the uh, from the phone app itself and i'm going to quickly go ahead and change the watch face to a tisa watch face you see how it just changes Wi-Fi is a little slow but you know that's pretty much it's as easy as that you select the watch face from your phone uh, the, from the phone Galaxy Gear app and you get to the watch and the phone will send the watch face to your Galaxy watch and you'll have a new look there's a bunch of options in the Galaxy uh, Gear app that you can choose from with regards to the watch face you can even customize some of them and you get all your weather updates on the wrist say allow notification and on this year you also have Bixby on the watch I mean see I said the word Bixby and it showed up um, so essentially anything if you are a Samsung user and if you have been using Bixby the watch will be an extension and oh there you go again the Bixby is popped up <laughs> so yeah that's essentially the Galaxy Gear watch for you guys, uh, the 46mm version Bluetooth variant and uh, with 3 days of battery life, uh, 360 by 360 AMOLED display and a crown which operates your Tizen OS 4.0. Thank you guys for watching this video, in case you liked it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button or if you have a friend who is interested in buying an Android based or a Samsung wearable, make sure to share this video with them. Thank you.